So I came across a question the other day. Someone had asked, what do I do if I don't know what I want to do? Or how do I find out my purpose? Or, you know, what if I don't know where to begin? Well, let me tell you, this is an amazing point to be in your life. This, first of all, congratulations, because you even having this question in your mind is the beautiful starting point of your life experience, your journey, right? What helped me in my journey was realizing that these questions were coming up because my soul wanted to experience something more expansive than what I had been living. It started realizing that I wanted to grow. And this is a beautiful point in your life. If you are asking yourself this question, oh, you are in for a really, you're in for a really good ride. That's all I have to say. So what helped me was to start dating myself. Now, before you start thinking things, start getting to know who you are, what speaks to you, right? Start doing things like you did as a child. I started dancing and painting and writing and journaling, doing things that used to speak to me that sparked an inner flame. I started singing with my heart. I started to laugh more and even when I wanted to cry, just crying and letting it pour through. I started watching things that made me feel really good because I realized when I watched things that made me feel really good, I could tap into more of that feeling goodness into my own life. I started reading books and feeding my imagination and my curiosity. I started trying new things and making and cooking. Cooking is an art in and of itself, but do things that speak to you that you just haven't had the time to do do it because this is how you get to know and explore yourself. It's how you get to realize like, what type of person am I? Let me see, let me see what I like, let me see what I don't like, right? I've always had dance in my mind and in my soul and in my heart. I always enjoyed dance. So I started dancing and it healed me through anxiety. Like I figured out that there's things and resources and tools and activities that I do or that I practice within myself that fill me up, that make me feel so vibrant. So start tapping into things that you like. Try something new. Watch something that makes you feel excited again, like a kid, like curious. Tap into that inner child that you have because the more that you do things that you love, you're just so excited to wake up and experience something else every single day. So, if you are in a place where you just don't know where to start, you don't know what you like to do, just name things or even write down a list of things that you would like to do one day or, and then just do it. Just take action. Put that experience into your consciousness, into your awareness and see if you like it or not. Try it again another day, you know? I used to love journaling and I completely stopped for so long. And then I just started doing it every single day, just a little, you know, something, a blurb. And then I realized that journaling is such a sacred practice. It is such a beautiful practice. And I could see why I was doing it as a kid. It was an outlet for me. And here I was doing it again as an adult. And I'm, I'm realizing that I'm learning so much about myself through journaling, through dancing, through singing, through writing poetry, through photography and painting. You get to see another side of you that you can't see just by doing the day-to-day -day thing. So, with all that, I love you so much and I wish you an amazing day. Bye!